All right. Another day. Another mission. So there's a couple of supply runs cooking, although I do note, yeah, there were three ones that I couldn't answer here. Two days, two days, just not enough time. Two days. Four days to start liberating. Um, it's been a few days since I've recorded. I kind of need to catch myself up on, on where I'm at, actually. So all the countries that are recruiting have Haven Advisors. We've got the supply raid at 48%. Foxtrot here, that is. Okay, that's the liberation mission. We have not yet completed the mission that will give us the facility lead. Supply raid, supply raid, supply raid. Hinder advent operations. Oh no, that's all. We, we we did complete the previous mission. Gave us facility lead. We're just breaking it. We could be cracking it here now. What's the state of my barracks? If memory serves, I'm trying to get a squad together to do a radio tower. And my thought was Jackson, Levin, Cruz, Python, Boroto. But I see four days on Boroto. What about the other Reaper? Holly Shadow Taylor. He doesn't have Ghost Grenade. I could just pick it up. That fifth member is always an interesting one. I don't know what to do. I might just take a loose a soldier that's, you know, available like Marquez and just give him the uh, invisibility item. Called again, uh, Venom Round, Sister Skulljack, Needle, Refraction Field. Now we'll need a, a Spectre Corpse. What I could try to do is just give a Refraction Field, East Asia, a Refraction Field to the Specialist. And then if I, normally I give the Specialist uh, the improved medkit, the Skulljack, uh, and then some sort of armor. I think for that mission, on the rooftop, I think you can, for the radio tower, you can justifiably leave the Skulljack behind. That means you have 20 less hack, but it's a lot more of a kill everything as quickly as possible. Extra scopes, only one day. It's a pity. Four days, nope. Three days. Trip column. Our research was a success. Now I must say, I've never been in this part of the campaign and I'm just wondering, are the infiltration times going to con consistently and continue to go lower and lower? Certainly hope not. I need Illyrium. Check the pod Andromedon. Alloys. Between elites, alloys. Alloys. All alloys. I will begin our research immediately. Okay, two pip facility in western US. As this climbs a little higher, we're definitely going to take out this eastern US facility. Two days for rebels. Eight days for just a regular lead, don't need that. I don't know where that is. Okay, the Shredstorm Cannon, a more aggressive variant of the Shredder Gun. The Shredstorm Cannon fires razor sharp particles and a cone to devastate close proximity targets. One has been added to the inventory. Do not think I could have predicted this outcome. Though it is intriguing. Did we just get three Illyrium cores? Four Illyrium cores? Because like you would think that would only play once. Let's see. I assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. Item received. Ticked on it three times. I can't imagine I got three oil cores. There's no way. 
Just to let it's all alloys for everything. What can I do for you, Commander? Let's build facilities. View inventory. Okay, Eleven Illyrium cores, that's more like it. Or the shadow chamber. Okay, we have to do the other shadow projects must be completed before undertaking this. So I'll need to do the forge and the gate. So with nothing else to do, we may as well continue breaking down data pads and data caches. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. One day, can't do that. Eight days for rebels. Don't need rebels in New Australia. Extra accuracy on Advent, that really sucks. Progress against the aliens past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Nothing to change here. I need this still. Oh, so straight to the black market. Let's see what we can get. We need to buy Illyrium immediately. And whatever troops are there. Purifier and advanced defenses are paying double. Let's see, Illyrium crystals. Yes, please. Uh, task Sergeant Gunner. Yes, please. Task Sergeant Technical. Oh, yeah. Ask Sergeant Assault, very nice. Let's see, smart macrophages is always useful. 500 supplies still. Uh, elite scope, I'll always take that on site. Elite expanded, yes please. Elite suppressor, why not? Uh, these PCSs I tend to not really use. I can, can get rid of them. And the purifier corpses we don't need. Shield bearers. So we're on 338 supplies. 56 and 41. I think I might just produce more water and armor, but we'll take a look at the weapons. Okay, so Sheng Meat Hook Zhu. Low combat intelligence. For a task sergeant, not great aim, but nice mobility. So for Gunner, we want Combat Rush. And let's see what XCOM skills he gets. Steady Hands is very nice on a Gunner. Field Medic, I don't mind either. Once per turn, get an additional move of taking a standard shot at a flank to exposed. Eh. Combat Engineer is crap. Enter Overwatch after firing a turn-ending standard shot. So that's really nice in combination with Traverse Fire. Because you could shoot, shoot, and go straight into Overwatch. Lightning slash, eh. CCS, not great. But I mean, we've seen that saturation fire, it, it's, it's just too good. And with 30 AP, we definitely want Shredder. And Combatives, that's like the standard setup for Gunners, I think. Novello is average combat intelligence. Again, not great aim, but decent mobility and health. What to give him, PCS-wise, I'm not too sure. ELS, eh. I kind of like Iron Skin, actually. Melee damage reduced by three. Smart macrophages. 11 defense, that's, wow, that's a lot of dodge. Better aim, I suppose. Get his aim up. Aim is not great. Flush is okay. Lone Wolf is eh. Your grenades only applies to grenades, so not great. Full kit, not great. When in Overwatch, you may take two reaction shots. That's quite nice, but untouchable is amazing. We want fire in the hole. We want panic. We want biggest booms. We want damage over the AOE, and we want extra flamethrower size. 40 AP still to play with here. Phosphorus can be quite useful. Let's 
so can shred especially at the next level when we pick up salvo because he can shoot a rocket and then take a direct action shot with shredder and that's gonna synergize nicely with rapid fire you know i'm not using bunker buster that much much i think i might start leaning towards rapid fire on my technicals especially because you shoot to destroy cover and then you have two shredding shots that you can take or like with sentinel take two uh reaction shots i think i might prefer that and we'll go back for shredder and then finally we got an assault average mobility is not great aim is nice so this person needs mobility then here we go mobility plus three right, what you got dedication is decent on an assault it's just two extra mobility but only every four turns okay great Grazing attacks is crap. Rapid deployment is crap. Lone Wolf is actually very nice for an assault. You're going to be out by yourself a lot. Evasive is quite nice, but the thing is it's single use. Shadow Strike is quite nice. Aim and crit chance when attacking enemies while concealed. During enemy turns, fire your arc throw at any visible enemy within one tile that moves or fires. Tears cooldown with arc throw stun ability, so it's basically like the melee attack ability that the shinobis have just with your stun gun which is really nice we've seen that in this campaign we take lightning reflexes we take trench gun we take killer instinct we take extra conditioning we take rapid fire slug shot is quite nice i really like slug shot for that ranged long range hit especially with 80 aim we've got 28 left i think i might just go it's the plus 12 defense that i really like I mean, con conceivably, I could have actually given her the extra defense passive, and then with Lone Wolf, she could have like 20 base defense. But aggression, it's really a Bring Him On that I want. I want Bring Him On and Untouchable. Only 28 will, that's not great. Let's hang on to her. Uh, let's hang on to her skills. Hey, Commander. Okay, so weapons wise 13 plasma rifles five beam cannons an extra storm gun i think is worth buying an arium phase cannon how many mechs are we up to i maybe want to start working towards mech mech weapons and armor i'll eventually want to we've got three do we just start working towards a third set of mech weapons and armor i think so I don't think it's the best way to spend the resources, but it's definitely the most fun. And rule of cool. Uh, anodized chassis, there's a third one. Now we just need a powered bit. Excellent. And then next month we can add another mech to the mix. Eighty three infiltrated, twenty one enemies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Corporal, sergeant, only one master sergeant. I'm boosting that to try to get the numbers as low as possible. Codex, Vanguard, Lancer, Hive Queen. In this setup you can argue that you know have the extra enemies you need the xp but we have a corporal on this mission and a sergeant and there's endless missions ahead of us so let's just keep risk low and try to keep soldiers uninjured i only have one master sergeant on this mission but we do have a Paladin mech. Nice high level mech. I've been thinking a lot about the Assault Troopers. I really haven't enjoyed them that much, but I think they more than any other class even more so than the ranger get such a gigantic increase to their effectiveness once they hit task sergeant well it's 
gunnery sergeant for the rangers for the triple overwatch but as soon as the assault troopers have a double shot it just becomes so much better Trying to recall whether I gave my sharpshooter, yeah, the Dark Lance. Just thinking that I don't have another sharpshooter to help Maybe disable a target, take it down the next turn. Enemy sighted. Woo! On to three. That's a lot of enemies. Let's get eyes on all of them if at all possible. Could they reveal us by coming this way? Maybe, Moving but this is less likely. Uh, hmm. Grapple out. I think the grapple is fine. Moving out. I do think, though, that if the sharpshooter had the ability to mark for death without breaking concealment that that would be so 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 overpowered before we move how about a ranger gonna klima does have saturation fire Double time. so we're gonna do everything we can to not get revealed now on the enemy's turn i want to get the most out of saturation fire This is defilade, extra defense for enemies, allies in range. Overwatch. Uh, these, how far can they move? Eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, eight. I think this is about as far as I dare go forward. Let's hope they don't go too far. Oh, I hope they don't reveal us. Would love to be able to open up with the saturation fire. curses so hopefully it's only the shinobi that is in vision of that pod i just got to check that before i engage 15 enemies all organics Tima has dragon rounds sweet i only have this pod in vision and i actually don't want to hit the the codex Question, does the codex, wait, I'm gonna make sure these are long range. Does the codex have lightning reflexes? It does not. So then the double overwatch is fine from the mech. We'll leave Ishmael to move around. Uh, Klima's gonna open up. We'll leave Chipper Nova. The temptation is to open up with a nice big old flame grenade, but Don't overwatch, don't overwatch, don't overwatch. Don't get revealed, probably gonna get revealed. Murphy here. Hmm. Damn. Gonna have to kill zone instead. It's a pity. I don't want to activate now because it'll aggro that pod as well. It all needs to aggro on their turn. Given the placement of the mech, I'm pretty confident they're going to walk right into us. Like they do. So this still aggroes the other pod, but at least now they don't get to take an action. I get to take. Do we activate on their turn rather than on my turn? job lads one down it's gonna be a lot of enemies active
Oh, bad Mercy Klima. Two down. Nice, Codex is down as well. Have we killed almost this whole pod? Looks like it. Oof, is that double is it lead trooper and a regular shock trooper? Four killed, six active, so there's four that we haven't dealt with. So what do we got here? First sergeant, we got an elite trooper. Uh, I feel like I take that and then I hunk it down probably because I am in shooting range of the first sergeant. That shock trooper is dangerous. I think I might just run and break vision to get away from that shock trooper. So the crit chance here is 90% and plus 6. Whereas precision shot is okay, also plus 6. Dead eye is 13 to 21 and we need 15. So it's 15 to 21 there on the elite trooper. We'll take that. just goes here and finishes off the sergeant or I run and gun shoot here on the first sergeant so this first sergeant is still burning and is going to continue burning so two alien turn starts hmm. we we don't actually have hmm. don't have reaper I'm gonna have to slash this guardian I actually don't have the best options for a lot of these enemies here. If I activate, I can move forward and take a shot here, but then I'm going to eat a lot of damage. But hell, if anybody's going to, it, it ought to be the mech. I think I like the skull mine. I do love a good head of bullets. That's also a temptation. But those are going to be quite low hit chances. He has the play. I think we set fire to the sergeant. And then we finish him off with Mare, the assault trooper. And then maybe command Mare to go back or to hunker down to draw fire. I do think we put the mech all forward to draw fire. Honestly, maybe even overwatching. There's a lot of these. You know, I see now I'm in range now. I would have to overdrive. See, these lads are not actually in vision here of Hendrix, and she's in high cover here, but a single shot kills her. I'm afraid she just has to hunker down, and they can get close enough to kill her. I think he has the player. We're going to hunker some of the more vulnerable people. I, hope it's worth it. I think I can get those more dangerous enemies to walk into Overwatch. Scanning. Is there a Rocketeer there? It may well have been. I tempted to put the mech up here. So if the shock trooper or the vanguard are shooting, they're more likely to shoot at the mech. And the mech at least then has height advantage. There's a revealed risk here. Okay. I think that was worth it. We didn't reveal the other pod. It's just a question of what are the vanguard 
and the shock trooper gonna do and I did forget that these burning guys could quite easily have wasted our overwatch I really think about that just shoot at the mech please Oof. okay two points of damage not too bad Ooh, ouch But hey, that's what the mech's for, isn't it? I can slash there. Or there and stay in cover. I don't want to slash at the vanguard. Uh, I need to destroy the vanguard's cover and then kill it with direct fire. These two burning nerds need to die this turn. try and use my shinobi and my assault trooper at the start of every turn just because they're the weakest I, I, troops we have we just give them the easy tasks okay so that's my plan for the shock trooper I think a hail of bullets him. If that sets him on fire, he's card controlled. If it doesn't set him on fire, I can command Bima. Or oh, somebody's burning, so that's him taken care of. And here we need 17 points of damage, which Deadeye will hopefully give us. It needs a crit though. Nice. How many is that now? Okay, so Ooh, I've got third assessment. I could have just given third assessment to the mech. Hmm. I'm gonna take a call from the wife. So hang on, that. So that surviving shock trooper is still burning. Uh, gunnery sergeant lightning. I want you to get the kill. Still up? Or was that a graze? Oh dang! I might want to Overwatch with the mech instead. Yeah, um, we're not going to move any closer. What are my options. I'm going to hang on to the suppression in case I need it. But if he's still going to burn for one more turn, he should burn to death. Ends in one alien turn starts. I think he's going to burn to death. We've had this before. Reloading. Done. Fairly certain he's going to be to death. Locked and loaded. Digging in. Sensors at maximum range. Well, if he doesn't, we at least have the mech and hopefully Ismail overwatching. Come get them. Yeah, burns to death. Another reminder that if it says ends in one turn start, they will take the damage and then it'll stop. Yes, sir. Everybody get closer. We don't go any more closer than this line. It's a pity the mech took that damage, but honestly, that's what they're for. So I want to check the repair times on the mechs. I have a feeling that it's a lot quicker than a soldier actually healing. Be pretty cool if there was a facility you could build area. called like a you know mech bay mech repair bay staff with extra engineers to make it repair mechs quicker In position. so who do we put on point i think we put the mech on point let's do this good to go 
Well, approaching the point where we could have enemies walk into us if we have a one shot. Which would be just lovely. How about an audio cue of where these enemies are? Although on this map they tend to be in the trench or just on the other side of it. Let's have a squiz. Listen, it's, it ought to be easy enough to deal with. We can just kite them. Uh, I'm not certain that I can actually parry these things though. Uh, this turn ending, isn't it? Fire weapon ends turn, so then lightning reflexes? No. Scanning for targets. Uh, I'm going. Got it covered. Ooh, this is a good chance to use kill zone. Roger From height that. advantage and all. The Hive Queen or the Soldier will probably have Lightning Reflexes though. Let's mark the Hive Queen for death. Don't think those little ones up front can reach us. I'd be very surprised if they could. At least Murphy's the closest and I think she can parry Cusselids. I haven't seen a crystal of melee attack someone who can parry for a long time. I suspect that you can't parry them. Insufficient damage on target. And the gray sucks, but it's it's very nice that we were able to shred all of its armor. Has the Hive Queen put herself now where the sharpshooter can't see her? Because that's genius. Where the hell are you shooting, Klima? Negative damage. Well, lightning reflexes, fair enough. Seems doable. Oh, bollocks, I can't see her. So we just got to run further back, but then again, 12 mobility. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If we fall back to, let's say, here, yeah, they can't hit us. Wait, don't they both have lightning reflexes? I actually need them overdraft serum for mobility here. But there's three supplies, and I reckon it's well worth spending it. On Overwatch. Heading for that location. Fairly certain that'll keep me safe. Uh, it was this line here we wanted. Um. I'll, I'll be amazed if the tracking shot is still active. I would think it's not. I think it's only for this for this turn that it's active. Oh, those clever bastards. They're not chasing us, but that does give us a turn to overwatch and reload. really cool I've never seen the crystal AI do this before so am I now just moving back into range of where they can attack me I think I am Ooh. are they gonna hit me though I mean, maybe only one can, because if they can't see where I am, then the first one surely shouldn't be able to attack me. It doesn't even know where I am. 
suppressing area. Whatever you say. Moving to Overwatch. We've got movement. This is very interesting. I don't, I've never been in this situation. I can handle that. Really, it hasn't moved at all. This is fucking annoying. Look at this, I'm like literally one square away. Uh, try to motivate them forward. Very much wonder if it's even possible to set the Hive Queen on fire. It is. I can only shoot once, not twice, at the Crystalid Soldier. You know what? I'm curious enough that I want to know whether or not I can actually parry this. I doubt that I can. Affirmative. So I'm probably just going to put it down to be safe. Scary. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. I wonder if Crystalids have a exception where they can attack you through burning. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. it okay so that answers two questions can the crystal attack while it's burning yes it can can it be parried yes it can I mean, just a bit of damage onto the mech, I suppose I'll take that. And looking at what it was like using that squad in the field, I'm very glad we boosted and got it down to lower numbers. 19 to 21 enemies, an extra 6 enemies with this squad, that would have been a handful. I like Lone Wolf. This aim isn't good enough really to justify a slug shot. Six days, great, not bad. Three Illyrium cores, yes please. Excellent. Can we build a fourth spark? I think we should. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Well, hang on, four sparks mean that we need more New spark orders, weapons. Commander? Look, I've already got the EPC. So in that case, then we'll build Anodized Chassis first. And can I do... Oh, but no, we'll do Plates of Bits and PPC for the fourth one, as well as Anodized Chassis. Then I think I, I feel I have enough Illyrium cores that I can justify going all the way up this up, up the tech tree of scopes into advanced scopes and then elite scopes. 
I kept magazines also is nice. Okay, what's next? Another supply raid, 103%, 12 enemies. Okay, we'll do that when we come back. Thanks for watching, friends. Uh, welcome, well, into the next two episodes. This one and the next one is, you know, Supply Raid City. Tomorrow will be your daily dose of Supply Raid. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then for yet another Supply Raid.